Hey, hey, reporters, this is Miss Merritt, and today I'm going to show you how to record your voiceover in GarageBand. Go ahead and open up GarageBand, and you will select Empty Project. You're going to select Record using a microphone or line input, and make sure that your external microphone is registered in GarageBand. If not, you would go under input device and make sure that it's selected. If I gave you the snowball or the iRig, then that's what they would be called under input device. You do not want iMac microphone because it's not gonna sound as good. So you wanna make sure that we have that external microphone selected. Go ahead and hit create. Before you start recording, a couple quick things. One, you wanna turn the metronome off. Um, if you leave it on, it may end up um, in the background of your audio and you don't want that. So make sure that you it's deselected. Um, the countdown right here is optional. If you feel more comfortable being counted in to the voiceover, that's fine. But if you want to start recording as soon as you hit the red button, then you could turn this off as well. You wanna make sure the time measurement here is time and not beat. Um, we're not musicians, so I'm not sure how the beats part works, but I always go by length of time. Um, there are a couple way, couple of ways that you can check to make sure that your external microphone is working. As you see here in volume, these green bars are going up and down as I speak. That's a good sign to let you know that your microphone is working and it can hear you clearly. Um, if you have your microphone connected and it's staying in the low part in volume, then most likely it's not working. Um, even if you see it fluctuating here, it's always good to do like a quick test to make sure everything sounds okay before you start recording uh, your voiceover. So you would just, you know, hit the record button and you would just say testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. And then you can stop it by either hitting the space bar or hitting uh, the record button again. Uh, you can play back to make sure it sounds okay, but uh, you won't be able, if I play back, you won't be able to hear it because I have my headphones on. But if you see it fluctuating like this, your audio waves here, then that's a good sign, meaning that your microphone is working. But still play it back to make sure that you didn't pick up any background noise or um, any uh, interruption that may have, you know, happened in your recording space. And you wanna make sure there's like, there's no static um, or, um, Anything weird that may have happened, you're recording, you just want to still make sure that it sounds okay. Um, if you mess up during your voiceover recording, since this is not video, you could just, you don't have to start over. You could just start from the last sentence you were at and then just piece it um, and just record right next to each other like so. Blah, blah, blah. This is what happened. Da, da 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 and just leave it at that just will save you some headache if you are unsatisfied with the taping you will select the piece of audio you want to get rid of it would be like a faint blue like here like you would see here and then you hit the delete simple as that if you want to trim your audio uh you see the like the opposing brackets here when that's what my uh, cursor is turned into, then you would just drag it inward. Um, you wanna avoid this, cause right here where it has like a, a loop, that allows you to loop your audio track and basically repeat the same thing you just said. So you will be avoiding that function. 
So you, this is how you would trim. Um, you can also put your playhead uh, at the spot that you want to trim and hit Command T as in toy. And then delete the part you don't want. All right. So that is, so that's it for like the recording part. Now to export, you would go to share, export song to disc. Have it saved to your desktop because that's just going to be a lot easier. And then you can name it PSA Voice Over or like PSA VO and save it as MP3. Then export. And then you know once it's exported you can play it back. Uh, that is it, your crash course on how to do a voiceover in GarageBand. If you run into any technical issues, please let me know so that I could assist. I can't wait to hear what you guys produce. I'll see you guys later. Bye.